I mean that. That makes no sense. God, I'm stupid. Hi, welcome back to Sarah's How to Get Through. Lovely to see you all again. I can't see you. I don't know why I say that, because I can't see anybody. One of the things that really gets me through when I'm having a bit of a moment, a book. And in this book, it's just a notebook, and in this book I write down things that I'm thankful for. It's called, you know, some people call it a gratitude list. And the reason I do that is because it reminds you of all the good things in life. And when you're going through a really difficult time and a hard time, sometimes you need to remind yourself of things in life that you're grateful for. Because it actually, it's like it pulls you through the bad times. It's bonkers. It's stupid. Really, the stuff I write is just silly little things. Before I do anything in the morning, well, no, I get up and I get dressed and showered and everything first. I go downstairs while the kids are eating their breakfast. I sit, in, I sit, I sit and I write the things that I have been grateful for in the previous 24 hours. Not only do I write those few things down, but I also read yesterday's. Because I put, I date everyone. And, um, and it's a really, really, I can't underestimate. That makes no sense. I can't overstate the powerful effect, or the, 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 the effect of giving you a positive mindset when you're feeling crappy, that that has. It really does kind of drag you up and drag you through the day particularly I mean it's easy to do when you're feeling good and fine it's less easy to do when you're feeling miserable but actually that's when you really really need to do it so this is hang on there you go that would that was Saturdays so imagine each of these starts with I am thankful for or I am grateful for getting my sister's birthday presents in the post on time um, and they arrived this morning so they arrived in time for her birthday, which is a miracle for me. <laughs> and for the lovely coat from Marks and Spencers that was an absolute bargain at £26. I was delighted with that because it was, it's so, I mean, it looks so expensive and yet it was 26 quid. It is two sizes too big, but I didn't care. It's too cheap. So, and I've done today's. That's today's. So I used to tell myself, well, I should do something like this and I'd, I'd be very wishy-washy about it and I'd never actually get around to doing it. Um, but I've done this now every day, nearly three weeks now. So that's quite good, every day for three weeks. A woman called Natalie Ledwell, I don't know if you've heard of her, but um, she she owns a company called Mind Movies and they help with visualisation and all that kind of stuff. Um, but she does say some really useful things about um, mindset and goal setting and, and positive thinking really. To get through all by yourself without any help from outside sources is really difficult when you're going through a tough time like a separation, divorce or bereavement, um, difficult children, you know, all that kind of stuff. Sometimes just, um, you know, your friends can't, can't be there all the time, family can't be there all the time to help you through, and some people don't even have access to friends and family to help them through. So if you've got, you know, if, if for when there's no one else there, your little book, it can be a real, real boost and a real help, and then you can look back and think, oh yeah, and it is, because it also, it tells me the things I was, that were on my mind at the time. So, that's my tip. Um, really useful, dead easy to do. Just get yourself a little notebook, a bit of paper that you can jot in every day. Have it nearby uh, most of the time. And, I, and also do it pretty much first thing in the morning after you get up so that it puts you in a good frame of mind, makes you mentally more able to deal with what the day will be throwing at you because you never know what's going to happen from one day to the next, anything can happen. So it puts you in the right frame of mind to deal with stuff like that. Because um, if you're not in the right frame of mind and then something comes along and knocks you, then it's more difficult to get back up. Whereas if you're already in a good frame of mind, getting up is easy, easier. Oh, I've waffled on for 13 minutes, so I'm going to have to cut this video right down again. Like down there, give me a thumbs up. Um, share, please put your comments down. Be kind to yourself, as I always say. Um, I, oh, um, I've done a lot of erms in this one. You can contact me if you want at sarahgetsthrough at gmail.com. I will be having a new website up and running. And um, I'll probably get a new email address that goes along with that. Um, but anyway, exciting times. Take care. Love you. Bye. <laughs> I do do waffle.